Welcome to KSL 5 News at 10. Police say Officer Brotherson was hit and killed trying to stop a stolen car early this morning as three suspects sped away. As news specialist Jed Bowles shows us, investigators are looking for answers as police in our community are stunned by the laws. Jed joins us from West Valley City. Jed. Yeah, Keith, take a look at the way that the community is rallying in support. American flags now line City Hall and also the police department. This is the first time that a West Valley City police officer has been killed in the line of duty. The police chief tells us that Officer Brotherson was deploying tire spikes when he was hit. It devastates us. I mean, that's the, I mean, that's the bottom line. We're a family. Shortly after 3 a.m., police spotted a suspicious vehicle on 4100 South, not far from Redwood Road. As they converged on the scene, they saw the same three people. Inside of an apartment complex, stealing a vehicle. As police tried to stop the car, it took off westbound on 4100 South. After a quick chase... Less than a minute, from my understanding. Officer Brotherson was deploying tire spikes at 2200 West when the stolen car sped through. One of our officers that was in pursuit of that vehicle called out for medical t assistance because the fleeing vehicle had struck another officer. Officer Cody Brotherson died at the scene. And our hearts are heavy with his loss. A West Valley City native. A true hometown hero. The three suspects fled on foot and were caught minutes later. A critical investigation team from the county will try to determine exactly what happened and whether the driver tried to intentionally run down the officer. Uh, today is a very sad day. Chief Russo says they will review their chase procedures to see if they need to do anything differently. Crisis counselors are also available for the whole department. This is tragic and it, and it shakes us to our core. But I'm confident that together you know, we will come out the other side. Uh, and it's just refreshing to understand that our community is coming along with us. The three suspects that are in custody are being questioned right now. They're trying to determine what level of involvement each of them had. And Keith, they have not released their identities. We hope to find out more about them tomorrow. All right, Jeff.